guys, how's it going? Um, today I wanted to wind down a little bit and kind of tell you a story of mine. And I want to share my first Nendoroid story with you guys today because I know a lot of you are into figure collecting and some of you might be new to figure collecting and you're trying to decide whether you want to get into Figmas or Nendoroids. So I just kind of wanted to talk a bit about that today. So the first Nendoroid I ever got was Mugi, Tsumugi from Kaon. And it was pretty hard to decide um, which character I wanted because Kaon has um, five characters, four to five main ones, and then like three supporting ones. All the main characters from Kaon have Nendoroid, so it was really hard to decide which one to get. But then I remembered that Mugi was like the first character that I really kind of liked and kind of related to because she played the piano and I also played the piano, so I kind of really liked her, so I decided to get her. So I got Mugi on my first trip to Japan and, and it was a little bit difficult bringing her back because I had a lot of other merchandise that I had bought there and I didn't want to take her out of the box. I remember when I was packing um, and I was trying to fit everything in like Tetris mode into the suitcase My dad was like can you just not bring all the boxes because then everything would be easier to kind of like slip in here and there But I was like no you can you have to have the box And so I ended up bringing her back and everything was just kind of like puzzled and situated around her in the suitcase Generally not that much damage on the box when I brought it back. It's not like I'll sell it anyways, but this is like a really great um, figure for me because um, I really like the chibi style of it. Um, I think that Nendoroids are really cute to collect. I like them over the Figmas because I don't really like seeing the joints on the Figmas. However, I do know a lot of people who collect Figmas because they really like putting the characters in different poses and they just like kind of moving them around a bit. But I really like the Nendoroids. They come with like different parts, different faces, a lot of really cute accessories. And it took me a really long time to even decide to get a Nendoroid because I know Nendoroids are generally a bit more expensive just because they come with like a lot of like cool stuff inside and like changeable faces and everything is just rearrangeable. Um, so this was my first Nendoroid and this kind of like kicked off my figure collecting. I got a bunch of other Gundam Sea figures from the first time I went to Japan because I just went crazy when I saw Lacus in like the different outfits. Um, but those ones don't come in a box so they were just kind of like bargain ones where you kind of like search through a bunch of like stuff in a box and kind of pick the ones you want and those ones are generally a lot cheaper. I think it is really worth your money to buy um, a Nendoroid or even like any other PVC figure or 1A figure or Figma or whatever it is. Japanese figures are really done well. Like whenever I get anything from Japan it's just really well made, it's really sturdy, nothing breaks, nothing snaps and I just like the design of them and even the packaging a lot Lot more than figures over here. Um, I think figures in Japan come with a lot more accessories as well. The second Nendoroid that I got is the Saber Nendoroid from Phase Zero, the one where she's wearing a black suit and I mainly got her because um, she's riding like a motorcycle. She also has the Excalibur that you can kind of like switch between different hands. I will leave a link below to the photography I did of my Phase Zero Saber and you guys can check that out. So I've been collecting anime merchandise for about three to four years now. I pre-ordered it in like April and it's still like in the works of pre-order and everything. I think the most difficult part of figure collecting is knowing when to stop. They're always coming out with new stuff every month and it's so hard to kind of decide what you want, what you don't want, trying to budget your money. Some people who I know that only collect Nendoroids, they actually save up um, and they just buy all the Nendoroids I can get after like saving it for a really long while, but then they only collect Nendoroids. I don't think I could become a really intense hardcore Nendoroid collector just because I can't afford it. But I think it's really awesome to like go online and see like people People who have their entire blogs or their entire websites dedicated to their figure collections and I'm like oh my god it's so awesome like you can do all the crossovers you can get the classroom scene I mean I only have like two Nendoroids maybe three by the end of the summer um, I think I'm really picky with the Nendoroids that I get one because I'm running out of space in the house and two because I really want to make sure that the Nendoroid I get isn't just like a passing fandom for me a lot of the times um, what will make it or break it for me when I'm Nendoroid shopping or even like figure shopping in general is how many accessories it comes with or how like unique the accessories are. That's basically all I wanted to talk about today. I really did want to share my Nendoroid story with you guys because it was like a really huge step for me when I went to Japan the first time and then I was like picking up my first Nendoroid and I still remember seeing like all the Nendoroids just like spread out on the shelves and it was just so much fun. I feel like next time I go to Japan I'm just gonna bring like two t-shirts and one pair of pants and then
and then just leave the rest of my suitcase empty for like shopping and figure collecting. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit like or subscribe or comment below on what your first Nandoroid experience was like or what your first Nandoroid was like, whether you're into Nandoroid collecting, Figma collecting, um, merchandise collecting, and let me know because I would love to read your comments. I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!